Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the React component and what is the difference between the functional component and the class component. So let's get started. Before creating the component, let's see what is component. A component is a small piece of a code that let you to split the UI into a independent reusable pieces and think about each pieces in an isolation. Let's go ahead and create our first component. To start with, I am using the default React application which I have created using the create React app command. If you don't know about how to create the react app using the create react app command please watch my first video on introduction to react i have added the link in the description let's go ahead and create the component first i will create both the components that we talked about class component and the function component and then we can compare side by side to see the difference between the class component and the function component first i'll create a folder and named as components and this is the folder that I'm going to use to place all my components inside in it. Let's create the function component. So I'll rename this as func hello world.js and I'll use these shortcuts. So if you want to use this shortcut you can install a Visual Studio Code extension simple react snippet for now let's add this text which is display on the ui let's import this and see this as an output import Let's run this. Now here we can see the output is hello world which we are returning as a JSX element. We have created the function component successfully. Now let's create the class component. For that let's create a new file and name it as cls hello world.js. For now remove this state we can talk about this later and I will return the same output as we return on the function component. And this time instead of rendering the function component we can render the class component. Good. When we are creating the class component, we need to import this component class from the React library. Now the application built successfully. Let me stop and then we can run again. The same output. So this is the way that we can create the class component and the function component. Let's talk about the difference between both these two and when to use the class component and when to use the function component. From the demonstration, the apparent difference is the syntax. If you see the function component, it looks like a JavaScript function which returns the JSX element. On the other side, if you look the class component, it uses the ES6 class syntax and it extends the React component with the render method that returns the React element. 
the other difference between the function component and the class component is state and the life cycle method function component are stateless whereas class components are stateful component and it control how the state changes aside from that class component have access to all the different phases of the react life cycle method to demonstrate how the class component are stateful component and have the access of a react life cycle method let's create a simple counter class component that allow user to increase and decrease the number which show how class component maintain the states and also exhibit a bit of a life cycle method As we have completed the logic, let's run the code to see if it is working or not. So it seems like our logic is working as expected. Now here in this example, you can see we took several steps to manage the state and also use the React lifecycle. First, we have created the state variable and initialized with the zero. Then we have used the react lifecycle method, which is component did mount and updated the state of that variable with the default value of one. Now we have created two different method handle increment and decrement in which we are updating the state of that count variable depending on the event occur. 
so when the handle increment is being called we are trying to get the current state of that count variable and incrementing by one similarly when the handle decrement is being called we are getting the current state and decrementing by one in this way using a class component we can easily use the react lifecycle methods as well as maintain the state so far in this video we have seen function component and a class component now the question comes how to choose between the function component and a class component in my personal opinion when you have a logic which does not deals with the state management and react lifecycle method then you can simply use the function component if you have a component that deals with the logic of state management as well as the react lifecycle then you can simply use the class component i hope this video will help you to understand the basic concept of the react component and you should be able to choose the appropriate component depending on your need if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you mm -hmm.